Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Drew with DDM's Realm, and I've got a video here for you about the Days of the Dungeon Master. A little guide and walkthrough on how to make the most out of this special event here. Oh, and if you haven't already, please throw me a subscribe, become a patron, or follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate any and all support I can get uh, doing these videos for you guys. Uh, first thing we want to do here is come into Protector's Enclave and uh, go to the event DS here. If you haven't already, come up here and talk to Portobello Da Vinci, and they'll he'll give you a quest to uh, go on to the Magical Gaming Table and play his games. So that's a pretty cool little uh, uh, event, as this is Dungeons and Dragons. It comes from a tabletop game, and you actually get to jump into the tabletop here. So once you have that, go ahead and jump on in. One thing that's different about this is that you can't enter this tabletop from any other zone. You have to actually come into the event DS. So if you're looking for it on the map, it's not there. you got to come to the event DS here and click on the gaming table to go on in. is a giant purple worm. Fortunately, the creature is dead, and deep gnomes, Snurfeblin, have transformed it into an underdark inn. Built into its gaping mouth is a doorway, next to which is a sign that reads, The Burrow Dawn Inn. Next to the inn, you see a slender human wizard and his cat familiar. All right, we have zoned in here now, and as you can see, you are a mini on here on the big gaming table you can look around and see that there's uh, all the famous characters or npcs from neverwinter all playing on here um and it's just kind of a fun little distraction from the everyday grind to come in here and do this campaign uh you can go ahead and talk to npcs they'll kind of give you the rundown of some stuff uh, but first let's go ahead and take a look at our campaign here and see what we're going to be working for for this one this is one of the few I haven't actually completed yet. All right, so Die Nation here. There are crystalline dice that you will be getting from the uh, dungeons that are part of this event. Uh, make sure you look all around on the floor. You can pick those up. Once you collect these dice, then you can kind of turn them in, and you will get uh, these red vines, which are kind of nice to keep in your inventory for when you're doing raids or something like that. Um... But at the end of it, you'll actually get this owlbear figurine here, which uh, can be a little bit, a little bit of fun here. I like to, if you don't have some of these things that go in your hot bar, it's nice to have that because it gives you a little bit more options in combat and can actually uh, speed up your damage a little bit. So that's what you're going to do with the crystal dice. You'll pick those up in the dungeons. Then the other thing that we need to get here are adventuring accreditations here. So we're going to collect a bunch of these things, and you'll get these from doing the daily tasks in here as well as the foot race. But you'll also need to collect uh, these report cards that come out of the dungeons as well. They kind of drop uh, randomly in there, or you can maybe get them as an end reward in the dungeons for this event. Um, so that's the only place you can get these report cards, but you can get these accreditations by doing some of the events and stuff that are around here. Lastly, you could do these uh, heroic feats of heroism. These will change every single day, whatever queues you can go into. Uh, like this, they have the uh, Caverns of Kundrax, the Shores of Torin, uh, a couple contests here. You have the Spirit Catcher or Mushroom Collection in Ebon Downs. Something to keep in mind with these is that all of these start at quarter after the hour. So if you want to catch one of these, keep an eye on the time and head over to whatever zone it tells you here at quarter after the hour so you can uh, rank for those. And then the last one here is the profession tasks. You can create a couple things. If you start this profession task, make sure that you complete it in the same day that it's going on, because if this carries over to the next day, these profession tax tasks will change. And then if you complete that profession task that was counted yesterday, like overnight or something, and then in the morning, then you won't get the uh, accreditations. Now you get three accreditations for each of these, so this will give you an additional nine that you can get by doing the heroic feats of heroism. If you're curious about what uh, dungeons are available, come up here to the event, and you'll see that there is uh, Raspin's Marvelous Game, which is active at all times. As soon as the event starts until it ends, you can go ahead and play that and get some of the stuff out of there. But there are also... The uh, Trial of Traps and the Artificer's Workshop. And as the event progresses, this will open up more and more things for you to do. These are kind of 
all of them are pretty easy little dungeons that you can do. Um, and yeah, check out the playlist there, and I'll do some videos on the dungeons specifically, give you a few tips and tricks for those dungeons. All right, so that's all we're going to do for this particular one. So once you get in here, you can kind of look around, check things out. It's kind of a neat little area to play around in. But what you're going to want to do is go behind the uh, Brodon in here and talk to this NPC over here by these uh, these goblins that are doing uh, push-ups. Something to keep in mind, the water in this place actually does damage. It's like acid or something. So it does a little bit of damage. Make sure you don't get too close to it or go AFK nearby on the water. All right, so we're going to do the uh, uh, evaluator of games here. Talk to them. A couple different quests this guy will have for you. So first we'll look at Game Mastery Challenge. This one, Collect Tokens and Defeat Dummies, is pretty easy. You're going to wander around this tabletop uh, that we are in here and collect uh, tokens and fight dummies. This one's actually timed, so make sure that you are ready to go do it before you accept it. So I'm going to accept this real quick because we're going to do um, that one next. There's also something here, Flabbergast Daily Evaluation, and this is where you'll get your uh, adventuring accreditations, and you'll get these by completing two evaluation activities. So let me show you what those are about here. Actually, I'll, I'll show you those second. First, let's go ahead and complete our timed thing. You can see here we've got uh, some time remaining. So we're going to look around and see that there are some dummies over here. All you're going to want to do is fight those guys. As soon as you complete one task, all of your, your time will start. So you're going to want to make sure you complete these as we go here. I think it used to start when you got the quest. So that's kind of cool. So you saw the little die there. Those are the tokens you're looking for. It seems sparkling right there. And really, they're spread out all over the place, and they respawn pretty quickly. So if you don't see them, just kind of move on. So what I like to do is run down this side, kind of behind things, and uh, usually you can get plenty of tokens. You see there's a couple up here, kind of out of the view of everybody. Already got the dummies. If you notice, there are a few up here on top. Oh, there's one today. Sometimes there's multiple ones. But kind of if you go down here around the corner, people don't normally get those. So let's run over here, go across the water. There's usually two sitting right here. And if they're not there, you'll be able to get them on your way back through. You can see there's a bunch of dummies here, too. You can get a, a distant view of the race that we will do here in a little bit. Let's see how to uh, take out a few dummies. Now we're just going to collect some of these tokens. So I've already got nine. There's a couple more down this way, usually. So if I didn't see you there on top, we're just going to uh, run back. And on our way back, we should be able to find some. See, we got a respawn already on top of here. All right, we've completed that game. now. So now we'll be able to go ahead and get our red vines. Again, that's a nice little uh, food that stacks. A good thing to use while you're doing difficult quests. Really nice to actually have in the Jungles of Cholt right now because that place is kind of hairy for a lot of characters. All right, so we've completed this quest. We can go ahead and get our Game Master Challenge down, get our Snack Pack. This actually has a uh, random of the Lathander's Dew, Red Vines, or Lyra's Fair. Good to stock up on that food. So now, if we come over to this side, you see that there is um, a bunch of little corrals here with with gauges on the back. Those kind of tell you how good they are, but each of these corrals is a way to test your character out, depending on what you do. So this one right here, the Evaluator of Duels, is a straight-up damage dealing to one type of creature. This next one over here, is a the evaluator of battle is how much damage you can do to four so kind of an a thing next one over here is the master of shields this one is you're going to want to shield that one character in the center of there every time it's hit the little bar there will go down you see that person's kind of halfway down the dummy got hit so it moved down there a little bit this one, the Evaluator of Bindings, is one where you have to stop that die from uh, moving. So if you're very good for controllers, that kind of stuff. Stunning, pausing, that kind of thing. And then Evaluator of Escapes. This one drops a bunch of spikes from the ceiling, and you want to jump and dodge around without being hit. Every time you're hit, that goes down. 
So each of these are kind of enhanced dummies to check out how well your character does on things or how how you do on any particular role in a group, basically. It really doesn't matter which ones you do. As long as you complete the tasks, you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and do the one that's probably best for me, since I'm an Oathbound Paladin. And you can see there's only one person at a time. Uh, you go in here, and these dice will spawn. And we are just going to protect our... Hang out and protect this dummy for a minute. All right, once it's complete, it kicks you out. Did pretty good. Looks like the dummy got smacked a couple times. And then you'll talk to this guy right here. Get your red vines. So now I've completed one evaluation. So now we'll go do a one that I'm going to totally suck at. Like this thing right here. The bindings challenge. And try to stop it. You can fight away, but it doesn't do anything. All I can do here is stun it, and I only have one ability to stun. So if you have roots and stuns and a like, control wizard or something, you can do a really good job. And you can see this is getting further and further, so that gauge is going down. Because I am terrible at stopping things. I can suck up the damage. I can even do okay damage. But as far as keeping something... Something else. See if you got failure. <laughs> so it did the worst possible I could do on this thing. And we'll see what I get from it, or if I get anything. So even though I did poorly, I still got it. I still get a snack pack. These guys can give you different foods, I believe. So there's uh, Lyra's Fair. So yeah, if there's a food that you actually like, work on doing that one, because it doesn't matter if you do good or bad. Um, but if there are tasks that you want to actually practice, go ahead and use that one. All right, so that's basically what the daily quest is for this. We'll come back over here. We will go ahead and get our four accreditations. You can see this, the mastery is repeatable if you want to keep working on that one. But we just want to get those accredi accreditations for sure today. All right, and then the other part to get a few more accreditations, you can come over here and do the uh, race over here. So how are you going to do that? You're going to talk to the race coordinator and you're going to do Flabbergast foot race. Go ahead and accept that quest. And then you're going to come over here to the spectator area and click F to make sure that you signal that you're ready for the next race. So that's going to put you in the queue for the next time the race starts. This race is pretty straightforward. You're going to have some dummies to kill and some blades to dodge and some uh, platforms to jump between. Your stamina gets taken away when you go and do this, so you can't uh, use your powers to go faster that way. Um, so you just kind of have to run through it old school style. But I'll show you a couple little tricks you can use to hopefully keep yourself from being knocked off. All right. So once the gate's open, you're good to go. These parallel ones are a little tricky. <laughs> just powered through that one. All right. So see this one, the blade goes first, second, and go through that pretty easily. First, second. There we go. If it's not parallel, it's pretty easy to jump through, even with slow characters. This one, you want to stay up high so you can get a little bit longer jump. And kill the dummies. And once you get to the end here, you want to ring the bell. I didn't have anybody racing against me that time, so I got first place. And if you get first place, you get three accreditations. If you get second, you get two. If you get third, you get one. We got three adventuring accreditations. We're going to go ahead and run that again. And if you really want to grind this out, the foot race is the place to do it. All right, so we got three wins in a row, so we got nine accreditations there and four for the daily, so that gives us 13 for right now. But you can continue to earn these accreditations um, when you come back, Come on back. So in 45 minutes, I can come back here and do a few more races and get a little few more accreditations. Good thing to do while you wait is actually to go ahead and throw up your queue and check out the events. Queue up for the events and go ahead and run them. This way you can get your report cards, you can grab your dice. There's even a few other things that drop out of here, like the uh, Beholder Tank you can get out of here as well. I think that one actually specifically comes from the Artificer's Workshop. 
All right, I'll do some videos to show you how to blast through the quests here for the event. But that right there is how you go through about the daily stuff to get your accreditations, do your daily quests, do your evaluations, and then run the race. All right, if you haven't already, please throw me a subscribe, become a patron, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I appreciate all the support I can get. Well, until next time, play smarter, not harder.